When we have an alternative hypothesis, we should also consider the direction of change, the directionality of the alternative hypothesis. A directional alternative hypothesis specifies that a sample mean will be higher than the population mean, or perhaps that the sample mean will be lower than the population mean. I could write this alternative hypothesis as h sub 2 colon mu greater than 7.5. This sample is drawn from a population that has a population mean greater than 7.5. A directional alternative hypothesis is sometimes called a one-tailed test because we're interested in only one tail of the normal distribution. We could be interested in scores that are decreasing, in which case we would be doing a one-tail test to the left. We would specify mu less than 7.5. Or we could do a one-tailed test to the right, in which case we would specify our alternative hypothesis as mu greater than 7.5. But regardless, if we are doing a one-tailed test, we are interested in only one tail of the distribution. Why would we do a one-tailed test? There are some specific times when we are only interested in one direction of change. Let's say we have a drug that can lower blood pressure. If we give this drug to our participants and indeed it lowers blood pressure, that is a success. If the drug does not change blood pressure, that's a failure. And if the drug increases blood pressure, that's also a failure. The only direction of change that is meaningful or helpful or beneficial is if this drug lowers blood pressure. So we might use a one-tailed test looking for changes only in the lower tail direction. If we did this study and we found that the drug increased blood pressure, obviously we wouldn't market that drug. It doesn't work. But it's important to remember that when you do a one-tailed test and you're looking for changes in one direction, it doesn't matter how far changes occur in the other direction. It doesn't matter how high the average blood pressure becomes. It will never be statistically significantly different. It might be clinically different. It might be a danger sign. If we found high blood pressure from our drug, we might stop our trial early. But statistically speaking, no matter how much the scores change in the opposite direction, the change must be in the direction predicted in a one-tailed test for it to be statistically significant. We also have the option of doing a two-tailed test. In fact, this is the type of alternative test that we will use the most. A two-tailed test is a non-directional alternative hypothesis. It specifies that the sample mean will be different than the population mean, but does not specify a direction of change. Changes in either the upper level or the lower level are both interesting. So we might write this alternative hypothesis as h sub 3 colon mu does not equal 7.5. We are interested in changes that are different, not higher or lower necessarily, changes in either direction will be important for us to report. A two-tailed test means that the changes can go in either direction.